Hey, welcome to this tutorial on how to make a backing track. So in this video I'm gonna try to make a backing track from scratch. So the best thing about this is I don't have any idea right now what I'm gonna do. And that's a pretty good place to be because it leaves a lot of options open. The only thing I know is I decided to do a 32 bar song structure. Let's dive into it. So as we can see here, I have Band in a Box open. This is the Band in a Box 2018 and it works great. There's a lot of good reel tracks and uh, yeah. So I already did a little bit of uh, pre-work. I decided a style that I was going to use. Let's listen to the style I chose. Okay, so it's obviously like a Motown kind of style. So I just call this piece Funky Motors. And uh, you know, this is what I have. I have a C chord here, that's all. Obviously, to make it more interesting, I'm gonna need to start adding more chords. And maybe I even change the key, I don't know. So let's just start working on it. Let's say, okay, tempo 120 sounds good. The song structure here, 32 bars, and then for now let's add 3 repeats. It's a swung style, so it's swing feel, and it's in 4-4. Okay, so how about I start in... Yeah, let's maybe have 2 bars of C. Or maybe have 4 bars of C, just to make it easier. And then we can go to like an F7. Okay, let's listen to it and just see how it sounds like. F. Okay, sounds pretty good so far. I'm just gonna change this to a C7 chord. Let's listen once more, just a little bit. Yeah, sounds a bit more funky. And one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so maybe if I go from Let's have a C7 here again. Then we can have an A7 here. Two bars. Then D minor 7. And then let's have a G7. So now I already have the 16 bars laid out here. And you know, I could just repeat this section maybe once, but then it's already 32 bars there. So let me just maybe make a B section here. So I just click on this two times and then it becomes green. So it plays a little bit different style on this part. So maybe if I do like, A minor 7 here. And then let's have a E minor 7 here. A minor 7. D minor 7. Then D minor 7 continues on this bar. G7, E minor 7, A7 on the third beat, D minor 7, G7. And then here, let's start with the C7 again. Four bars maybe. 
Let's do F7. Let's do a pretty standard uh, thing here. F7, G7, C7, and G7. Okay, let's listen to it. And then the B section. It's just going to repeat three times, like it says up here. And for now, that's pretty good. Uh, we can always change this later if it's too short or too long. So one good thing about band in a box is that you can see how long the song is going to be up here. So right now it says three minutes and 20 seconds. And I think that's pretty good for this backing track. So. I don't want to get it. I don't want to make it like too repetitive or too long or I just want to make it like any other song that you could hear on the radio or same kind of length. So 320, that's pretty good. Okay, so the next step is to uh you know add some more instruments to this track because right now we have like this funky clavy thing going on. And we have a bass and some drums. And for the standard backing track, the regular version, that's pretty good. But you know, we're gonna have like a bassless version and a drumless version and things like that. So I want to add a bit more like solistic instruments. And the way I do this is go up here to tracks. Uh, and then I go to, no, wait a minute. I just go here to the mixer. And then here you see all the tracks I have here. And on guitar, I could also add a bit of funky guitar, rhythm guitar. But for now, let's just focus on the solistic instruments and let's place them here. Select real tracks and then it's select best soloist real tracks. And then it comes with some suggestions here. Okay, so let's just reset this. And you can see best real tracks for current style are below. So, yeah, let's just try something out here. I don't want anything contrary on this. Guitar, electric, soloist, blues, 120, swing. That sounds pretty good. Let's listen to it. Okay, sounds pretty good for now. Uh, okay, what is this? Sax, alto, soloist, Texas blues, rock, shuffle. I think I like this one better, right? We can keep both or we could do another one. We could, let's choose this first. Okay, and generate now. Then have a quick listen to it. It's pretty cool.
Okay, I'm gonna definitely keep this one and just to do some variations I want to do one other instrument so maybe I should just use this uh, guitar solo is blues okay let's add this one here okay so I think I have all the tracks I need now okay let's start this so the next step is to import this into your DAW or your digital audio workstation so in my case it's gonna be Cubase 8.5 Pro so let me open that up First, I'm just going to save this one. Let's open Cubase. Okay, so. Okay, so now we have a blank Cubase. That's good. What I'm going to do now is to put Band in a Box in DAW mode. You can do that up here. So the screen gets a little tinier and yeah, let me just start dragging all these instruments into wave files. So let's do separate instruments. Let's do drum first. And actually one more thing that I like to do is to just keep it dry on the import. I don't want any reverb on uh, these tracks, so let me just turn them all the way down. No reverb and no panning or nothing like that. Okay, so let's start doing the drums. Let me just drag this one over to where it says wave here and drop it. And now we will start to generate the track, the audio track, and then I can uh, import it into Cubase. So that's a pretty cool function from Ben and Box. You know, or else you would just have to start saving all the files separately and name them and then reopen them into Cubase. This just saves a lot of time, I think. It takes a little bit. Okay, now it's processed already. And then you click this little plus symbol here and just drag it into your Cubase or Logic or what you have. Here it comes. Let me listen to it. Yeah. And let me check the time. So this track is, yeah, around 3.20. Cool, okay, let's do this with all the other tracks too. Let's do the bass. Drag it over to Wave here. Let it just do the work. I think the track is more or less done now, so... Now it's time to just bounce out all the different versions. And that's it. I'm gonna add like a regular version, a bassless version, the drumless version, the drumless version with a little bit of click for the drummers who like that, and also a keyless version. So once I've done that, make it available for you guys. So thank you very much for watching this. I hope this gave you some inspiration. I'd be happy to hear what you think about this video as well. So please leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or if you liked it or maybe if you didn't like it what didn't you like about it what could be better and so forth thank you so much for watching and have a good one